What is a drivetrain? A drivetrain can be defined as the part of the robot that moves, but it is much more than that. A drivetrain is the base of the robot on which everything rests and can be customized any way you possibly can. One could say it's the most important part of the robot. Here's the first step to constructing a drivetrain. First, we need to mount bearing blocks so that they look like this on the piece of metal. First, start out with a piece of metal circled on the left. Then, mount a bearing block four holes from the left. Next, mount more bearing blocks three holes apart from each other so that you have five. Do this twice. Now that the bearings are mounted, we can attach the motors. First, you need one half inch screw and one quarter inch screw to mount each motor. Mount the half inch screw through the bearing block, the quarter inch screw through the metal, and the whole of the motor here. You may need a friend to help you hold the motor in place while you screw it in. And after you're done attaching the motor, attach a second motor accordingly so that the end result looks like this. The next step is attaching the gears and shafts. To construct the following demonstration, you will need two 84 tooth gears, three 60 tooth gears, two 3 inch shafts, and three 2 inch shafts. Now attach the two 84 tooth gears to the motors you mounted previously, and the three 60 tooth gears to the open remaining bearing blocks. Between the 60 tooth gear and the bearing block, there needs to be a quarter inch black spacer, so that it looks like this. The weighted gears are placed in the previous demonstration set the robot up for speed. However, you can mix and match your own gear ratios for the desired performance of your robot, speed or torque. Now we can attach our wheels and spacers on the shafts. Attaching the wheels is a pretty straightforward process. First, we have to start by adding 1 8 inch spacers to the 60 tooth gears. Here, we're just attaching the wheels to the shafts on the 60 tooth gears since we want three wheels on each side. There's enough space in between each 60 tooth gear to mount three wheels. This is what the end result should look like. Now we will talk about the last part to constructing a drivetrain, the modules and frame. The module is what you've been building all along. To complete the module, we need to cover the wheels, thus enclosing them. To do this, you need four two inch standoffs. Begin by attaching the standoffs to the four corners of the second piece of metal you prepared, so that it looks like this. Attach the piece of metal to the other one with the wheels on it, so that the flanges are outward facing, and so that the end result looks like this. When you are done, repeat all the steps again, but mirrored. You will notice this leaves you with two sets of wheels, but not a frame. This part now is up to you. Vex is about being creative. This is just an example of how to build a drivetrain. You can work off of this and make it your own style to fit your robot's needs, from gear ratios to the way the two sets of wheels are connected. This was Team 169C, showing you how to build a drivetrain.